Are you coming to the Smokies for the first time? Are you a seasoned veteran of the Smokies? Been here many times and maybe you're just kind of burnt out on all the places that you normally hit up. Well, on today's video, we're going to show you the top hidden gems in the Smokies. As a matter of fact, at one place, we're going to find we're going to show you that you can find hidden gems at this hidden gem. It's going to be a wonderful video, so we want you to come along and join us. As a matter of fact, these are going to be some more of your family-friendly places, budget-friendly places, and places overall that just have outstanding food that don't get the recognition they deserve. This hidden gem, the first on our list, is truly tucked away back in the arts and crafts community of Gatlinburg. This is Split Rail Eats. They have an awesome area to dine outside during your warm weather months. And you've also got many table options inside. They've got that new beer tap wall and a cozy place to snuggle up or visit with friends. So you're gonna order at the counter. They're gonna give you a number and then you'll sit down. They'll bring everything out to you. We were here for Gatlin Burger Week, that beautiful smashed potato and gravy burger with bacon. There's, they have everything here from Fredo fries, you see the cheese curds. Christy had a sandwich called the Jack Turkey. I love their cucumber salad. Great chicken sandwich too. If you're looking for a good fried chicken sandwich, they've got it. This is truly a family friendly restaurant. There's that Jack Turkey, boy you definitely want to try that. Overall, we give Split Rail Eats two thumbs up. Next up on the list is going to be English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. Now, this place is really tucked away. This is back near English Mountain out in Sevierville. Now, it's not really a hidden gem anymore because, well, let's just say it's all American. That's right. Guy Fietti came here for his all American road trip, and the Ford family here, they just really know how to do fish the right way. We were so excited to visit with the Fords uh, and catch some wonderful fish here. And we even have a little bit of a blooper to show you here when I catch my fish. There's Brooks with his wonderful rainbow trout. And now it's my turn. Oh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, one of the best bloopers of our entire channel. <laughs> yes. Is I was talking to the fishy and I dropped it. You did wah, drop wah, it. Wah, wah, wah. Yes. Of course, the inside seating area, you can sit outside. They've got picnic tables where you can actually sit where the fish are. And their motto here is if you hook them, we'll cook them. And I see that secret menu item, the smoked trout dip. That is one of my favorite, favorite things at English Mountain Trout Farm. And if you can't tell, I really like it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's wonderful. And of course, like I said, family run, it's just wonderful. They do things the right way here. So family run, but it's very family friendly. You could come here and spend the whole day. You could. And of course your fish dinner includes all the trimmings such as the hush puppies. And uh, you can get it fried, blackened, or lemon peppered. Mm -hmm. All three options are totally, totally out of sight. We love the food here. Of course, you've got your green beans, mac and cheese. They've got coleslaw, a little bit of everything. And I think anybody would come here. Now, not only do they supply fresh fish right here, but they supply a lot of the fresh fish for a lot of the local establishments in town. They sure do. You'll have to go back in our library to see the full review where we do an interview with Charlie, the owner. And uh, it's, it's just an awesome video and you'll get to see more about it. Absolutely. Now we did mention, of course, that this is a hidden gem where you can actually find hidden gems. Yeah, we got to do some gem mining there, right there at the trout farm. It was a lot of fun and we got to find some hidden gems. So this is truly a family atmosphere, a great place to hang out, and you're gonna have great food, a great time. And if you gem mine, you just might find a big one. Yes, right by the creek. So it's very, very nice. And of course, like I said, sit out by the trout. Tucked away about a half an hour from the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area is the woodshed. And I'm gonna tell you, this is where the locals go. And on an evening, it will have a wait. So 
so we do recommend that you go early. They have daily specials. The staff and the ownership are absolutely wonderful people who will make you feel at home immediately. Absolutely, everything from specials for prime rib to actual barbecue baby back ribs, and I gotta have my shrimp cocktail. And here is my favorite, the triple dip, which is a white queso dip, a spinach artichoke dip, and my most absolute favorite there on the left is going to be their jalapeno dip. And they serve that with seasoned tortilla chips. Yep, got the warm bucket there. Christy loves the chicken tenders. Not something she normally orders out, but I know she loves it with that great bacon mac and cheese. And Brooks always gets a steak at the woodshed. I'm not sure what it is. I know it's an amazing steak. And there's that juicy tenders in the inside. Can't forget about dessert. There's a red velvet uh, roll-up cake as well as that amazing pineapple upside down cake. One time, I don't mind being taken behind the woodshed. Back in the Pigeon Forge area, we're gonna show you a place that's literally a hole in the wall. But if you're looking for a great sandwich, whether it's for a picnic or great inside dining, the family here at Pigeon Forge Deli has you taken care of. They have homemade bread every single day. They are making it fresh, as well as those incredible homemade pretzels. We tried the Parmesan garlic one this day with the three different dips that they offer. And I am the pretzel queen. And if I want a pretzel, this is the place that I come but the sandwiches oh yeah so christy got the, the pimento blt and they've got great soup that tomato soup is really really good and then of course they give you a little fresh bread on the side to dip your to dip in your soup and i am a big fan of the tomato basil soup here at pigeon forge deli it is typically what i always get as my side uh, the Pimento BLT was new to me on this visit, and let me tell you, it's probably my new favorite. Lots of thick pieces of bacon, fresh ingredients, and again, that toasted yummy bread. Oh yeah, now for me, the pot roast sandwich. This is just something that I can really sink my teeth into with that warm jus, and I do love the pasta salad here. It's melty and cheesy and again, it's that bread. And we even sometimes have been known to buy the bread and bring it home for sandwiches at home. Absolutely, this is the place for you for good bread, good meat, and just doing it fresh. Up next is Chubby's Restaurant on Dolly Parton Parkway in Sevierville, Tennessee. This is a family run and family owned restaurant from beginning to end. This is their second location and you are gonna find anything that you want in the way of home style cooking here at Chubby's. Now we ordered two of the things that actually put them on the map. For me, I get that beautiful ginormous pork tenderloin sandwich and the onion rings. And if you go back and look at our original video, the first one, you're gonna see why I take credit for why this sandwich is at Chubby's today. It is absolutely wonderful. Look at as I cut into that. Yes, monster sandwich, makes two or three meals. And Christy, you did, that was your sandwich. Uh, Chubby and the family here named it basically after you. They made it for you. And that's the way they're still doing it today. For me guys, let me tell you what, if you are looking for a big boy burger, this is your place. So I always get fried okra because their fried okra is outstanding, but that burger, barbecue, pulled pork, barbecue sauce, it's there's a man bacon. sandwich. Yes, it's a man <laughs> sandwich. And of course they've got great desserts here too. We're going to see the cornmeal peach cobbler coming up. Like I said, the family here has done such a great job. A place that we truly love. That cornmeal peach cobbler is delicious and unique to this area. You definitely want to get out to Chubby's if you want home cooking at great prices. What would the top five list be without a great honorable mention? And we've got one because this is B51 Chicken. Now they've renamed it Station 51 recently 
and it's still a great Peruvian rotisserie style chicken that place where you can get great dinner specials and Christy great health options here too yes we were actually here for lunch this day and we got their very awesome lunch special which is also economical we had those wonderful Peruvian beans I believe it was a half a chicken and I got sweet potato fries the aromatic spices coming up out of those beans is amazing and the chicken is juicy and flavorful absolutely and I also got the chicken soup uh, which if you're looking for something to make you feel good on a, on a wet day and this was a rainy day that chicken soup just had all the comforts of home look at all of that delicious fresh ingredients we are big fans of b51 can't wait to go back we had this wonderful couscous salad as well with all those awesome fresh ingredients a great fresh place and i'll tell you what we are going to update this soon but we wanted to give them a nod because it is wonderful so if you're coming to the area, we hope that you'll use this as a great resource to look up some of the great hidden gems that the Smokies have to offer. For now though, we just want to say that we appreciate you all. God bless you. We love you. Give us that like if you like this video because we know that that helps us out. Comment where you'd like to go or if you've been to any of these places. And of course, we want you to subscribe to Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun if you haven't done so already. But if you have, we just want to say, Thanks for subscribing, and we can't wait to see you in 2024.